Alright guys, I made it to, uh, Cloister 20, I guess? It took me a little bit of time to get down here, um, my advice for setup currently... Man, I'm, I'm, I'm relatively high level for this, this area. Um, let's see here. Grommet Grids... Not Grommet Grids. Grommet Grids doesn't really matter at this point in time right now. Um, well, it does, but I would do shit. But, um, Dark Knight Jesphere is really good to have right now. I mastered them. Um, you should probably also have uh, Adamantites on two of your characters. And a Crystal Belt on the character that doesn't have it. This gives you a Champion Belt. This gives you, as you can see, Strength and Defense plus 40, which is really nice to have. And then uh, offset the lesser HP with a Crystal Bangle. If you've been doing the Fiend Arenas, you have plenty. Alright. That's about it for that. Um, I'm gonna mention <laughs> this is by accident. I didn't realize this was gonna happen. Um, if you beat uh, Grand Cup hard six times, you unlock the Youth League tournament. If you beat the Youth League tournament for the first time, you get a mascot dress sphere. Guess what I got by accident? That's right, a mascot dress sphere. Um, I had a uh, interesting little party, nothing really major. It was a medium level creature, or medium height size creature, and a small creature. And I gave um, them uh, Dark Knight, which gives them the Darkness ability. I also gave them uh, Adamantites and jacked up their HP, their uh, attack. And when he used Darkness, he pretty much obliterated the entire competition a few times. Or, he pretty much obliterated the competition. Um, it's really it's a really good combination to have. I got lucky that Nuge, which is one of the participants of the Youth League tournament, wasn't uh, was eliminated early off, which is really nice. I was also lucky that for some strange reason, a team called Weak Team actually made it to the finals, and they were, as the name suggests, weak. They're only strong because they had uh, haste wings or chugwa wings, which made and hasted the party was. <sighs> Either which way, I was able to kill them pretty freaking quickly. Anyway, so I got a mascot gesture by accident, which means I now have all dress spheres, which is awesome. I even got the trophy for it. And all my dress uh, spheres, with the exception of the Gun Mage Blue Bullets, and the last Song Shift ability, as well as, of course, the uh, last abilities for uh, Yuna. I think Pain got her mastered. Yeah. I can't remember exactly where we got it. I think it was in, um... Either Chugwa Dungeon... No, we got it in... Uh... What was it called? The uh, Thunder Plains Dungeon. There we go. It was... Victor Primus. So, pretty nice. Or Corpus Invictus. So we're missing one for uh, Yuna, and one for our, our uh, Despair. And then we're done. Which is awesome. Alright, let's continue. Let's see who the boss is for 420. Maester Kinok. He's unsent? This is... Arena. Arania. Uh, he's not that difficult, really, especially if you have uh, Dark Knight Dress Spheres. Um, once you beat him, you're able to capture him for the... Um, Fiend Arena. I actually believe he's one of the requirements for one of the Aeons. I'll pull that over. There for a second, we'll look it up. And, uh, special. Let's see. Rania, yep. All you need to do is capture him and uh, with a large trap and Bevel, and you can get Rania. When you level him up and release him, you get Dark Anima as a uh, battle. The Wandering Unsent. You think there are more in here? 
Probably. Uh, I think we should go home now. Let's ease their pain. You're going? Mm-hmm. Uh, I knew it! Before we do that, though, we'll grab this. Final Crimson Sphere. Let's watch it. I'm glad you're all right. You're not mad. Mad? I kept you from dying. You can owe me one. Why did you follow us? I want to know what it was you all saw back there. Problem is, we don't know. We'll figure it out one of these days. We'll tell you then. Hmm. Well, the Maester's not going to be pleased when he finds out we're still alive. Moving as a group is too risky. Want to split up? That would be wise. Your work's done. Why are you still recording? Uh. One, for old time's sake. interesting. <laughs> so with that, we should have all the Crimson Spheres required for the Den of Love. Um, I recommend waiting until you finish off at least Bicanel before doing that. Uh, that's because the Den of Woe uh, battle is in there, because you often know there's going to be one there, is insanely difficult. You, could, you can easily die there. Especially considering there are, um, some blue ball abilities there. Alright, um, okay. I'm gonna mention this again. Later on down here, um, I believe it's around floor 60, maybe? You roll across, um, mega tone berries. I'll, uh, keep an eye out for them as well. They're big tone berries. To get the Cry in the Night blue bullet you have to fight an oversold version of a Megatone Berry. And it will use Cry in the Night. It's the only way you can get, get this uh, blue bullet, so keep that in mind when you're roaming around. Anyway, I'll see you on floor 40. That's going to be a long walk. Alright, so I made it to floor 40, or close to 40, I should say. Uh, this one's going to be a little difficult. You actually have to uh, do some prep work to make sure you're ready for this fight. I recommend having one songstress uh, equipped, and make sure she has the ability Magical Mask. You get this from uh, the volume uh, Magical Dances Volume Two, I believe it is. Which, if memory serves, you get from yeah, Magical Dances Volume Two. You get from beating the experiment after he is fully evolved. So five attack, five defense, five special, and you get this. I believe that's the case. Not hundred percent sure on that right now. But once you get that, you'll learn Magical Mask, which in, uh, it makes you immune to all magical damage. Um, I also recommend having characters... Let me uh, go back to Yuna and give her some more health, though. Um, for equipment... <clears throat> excuse me. I recommend that you have one character with the Ragnarok ability, preferably one of your more, strong, more stronger characters, like uh, Pain is for me. I also recommend setting your config settings to uh, wait for the ATB and memory for cursor. This way we can side, uh, we can look through our list, I'm not exactly sure where Magical Mask is in the Songstress menu, and you can just quickly press X and go straight back to, st go straight back to it once your character is done. So once you have all that said and done, uh, make sure you heal your characters. Let's go and uh, face this unsent. 
it is the former Maester Jiskel Guado, uh, Seymour's father. Also, make sure you have someone with first strike equipped. Uh, your, your mage, your song just has that. Alright. Good. Um, hold on. A good way to get... Ah, that's gonna suck. To get the first strike ability is just to get the high wind, uh, a high roads wind, whatever it's called, garment ring, which automatically gives it to you. Okay. Perfect. This thing has 9,999 HP, so darkness is a great attack to use. It ignores magical and physical defense. You pretty much kill it instantaneously. So that's how you do it, that's how you do it quickly. Um, I recommend you doing that because you do not want to use Ultima, which will deal 9,999 HP to you. So what we get? Moon Bracer. Shining Bracer. Speed Bracer. Recovery Bracer. Catnip. Intriguing! That's a lot of items. Let's see what they all do. Alright, catnip. When all seems hopeless, its power and its horror are released. SOS unknown. Um. Oh, what does that do? <laughs> I know it's something really good. You can actually use it to grind uh, levels. Let me. Uh... Let me look it up quickly. <laughs> um. We got Room Bracer, I believe, as well, which was 100 MP. What else is there? That's for choose, for strike. Speed Bracer, auto haste. Curve Bracer, auto region, auto protect, auto shell. So basically, we got a lot of the auto abilities, as well as an SOS unknown, which just sounds awesome. If my memory serves, what this does is it gives you um, max damage when you're in an SOS state, which is uh, yellow health. Let's see here. I believe that's the case, anyway. My fucking phone. Always give me pop-ups. Nah, screw it. Um, I believe, not I'm not sure, but I believe Catnip gives you, um, when you're in yellow state, you'll deal 9,999 damage, and I believe you may get some auto shell, auto haste, stuff like that as well. I'm not sure on that. As well as all healing items deal uh, that much health as well. That's what I remember it being from what I've read. Not I'm not sure on that, so don't quote me. I'll have to look that up. But that's basically it. Um, I will see you on floor 60. We're getting there, though. <sighs> see you guys in a few seconds. Hi, right, guys. We're at Cloister 60. Long run. All right, so here's what I basically have set up right now. I have uh, Yuna set to the Alchemist Dress Sphere, so I can actually do a uh, something pretty interesting. Um, I got an item. Here they are. Two of them. From the uh, Far Plane Cup. I didn't win the Far Plane Cup. I killed a creature that dropped this. Um, we'll be actually meeting it, meeting it later on in this uh, dungeon. <laughs> um, Dark Matter is an amazing ability. It does pretty much Ultima with max damage from what I can recall. However, the main reason why you want one of these, let alone two, is if you can use it with pretty much any other item and you can create a very powerful item or effect. Which we're going to be using in this fight. So, uh, well, let's go do it. I have everyone else pretty much set to uh, Dark Knight. Well, not pretty much as what they're set to. Where they're stuck at. Right. Also, I found out what 
uh, catnip does. Catnip does pretty much what I said last set. The only difference is uh, the finer details. When you have this equipped and you go into the SOS state, you'll get um, automatic 9,999 damage and heal for 9,999. Guaranteed. The problem is, when you have the stats equipped, you also get auto slow and auto berserk. Now, there's a way to counter the auto slow at the least, which is to equip a uh, haste bracer, which gives you auto haste. This will uh, negate the auto slow because haste always takes priority over slow. So, that's nice. Unfortunately, you'll still be berserk and you can't control your character. That is a change they did in the HD and international version. In the original Final Fantasy X 2, it's just the damage and healing effect. That's all it does. I'm not sure if it still does the healing thing because we can't really control the character while they're berserked. All they do is attack, so there's that. Anyway. Maester Micah. Okay, let's see if we can get this done. I currently have my character still set, the uh, ATB still set to wait whenever I go into a menu. So that's awesome. Now the main reason why you want this effect I'm going to be doing, I'm going to do it with a potion, is because this creature does an attack called Megaton Press, which will guarantee kill you unless you have uh, over uh, 60,000 HP. Speaking of Megaton Press... Just as I was about to uh, create a way to protect against it. It's an effect I want to have. You little fucker. That is not fair. Oops, don't need, I don't need to worry about that too much. ability while someone's dead. Because they won't get the ability when I resurrect them. Recoup. Thank God for the fact that I can use this stuff on... Motherfucker! As I was trying to say, thank God I can use stuff on characters that are dead. Why does he hate me? to everything. I'm just going to switch Yuna to her. There we go. I'm not sure how long this lasts, so I'm going to be using my darkness, which ignores defense, regardless of what it is. I'm not sure healing effects will work, so... I'm not going to use any. Because I'll waste a turn. At the time, I'll look up to see how much HP this thing has. Although we're just hacking away at that HP right now. Good. <laughs> Stand back up. Mark skin. Nah, I can't do that. So the spells still do uh, HP damage to us, we're using HP to, do, to, to attack. Gotcha. That's good to know. Still heal. Perfect. Yuna. Uh, Charon would be a good attack to use as well. It does massive damage. Problem is you kill a character off. So uh, use that whenever... Apparently. Man, Mickle Drink lasts for a while. Good. 
Okay, so fun for more damage than uh, Yuna's physical. That's good to know. Come on, let's kill this fucker. Um, if you're going for the Oversoul uh, completion list for Shinra's uh, journal, Mysterio, if you have the HD version, don't worry about not getting it here. Uh, he appears in the Far Plane Cup, so you can actually grind him after you fight him. So don't worry too much about that. I should look up how long this Megaton, Mega, a Miracle Potion works. Or lasts. Or if is it, is it a indefinite thing for the entire battle? In which case, I have some bad, uh, evil ideas. Little Riku. Right. I'm trying to look this up. Name. Sorry, I'm writing, typing his name down. It would work better if I spelled it. There we are. Oh crap, it's broken. Ain't good. Ain't good. First, let's see how much HP this fucker has. A lot! <clears throat> and luckily, I can, I can actually work on getting the... Uh... Uh, Dark Myers back pretty, pretty easily. I know how to get them. He's gonna die. She did. Perfect. Mix potion. Let's probably kill something before I get a chance to. Ah, oh, perfect. Thank you. So this thing has an ad. Um, 343, oh, don't go to Amazon, stop it. Three hundred forty-three thousand two hundred eighty HP, and it's level's like around 96, so that's a lot of HP. So back to the guardings. I should have break damage on that. Something that I do on my, uh, what are they called? My special dress gears. Man, this guy's going on for a while. The other one's been like, what, three, five minutes? They're gonna get progressively more difficult. Jeez. Do I have... Yeah, I do. Got mage. I'm gonna scan this fucker. Come on, pain. Any time now. Almost there. Okay. Let's actually 
use them on good ult abilities. Over here, you know. I actually think Annihilator might be a good idea. It ignores defensive memory serves from what I read. Ah! Let's do Mighty Guard. Sorry, not gonna work. Ricky, just so I can heal it. Alright. Still guarded. Good. Come on. This should definitely get us through the uh, battle ring. I saw a little bomb pop out the gun. Check to see how much health it has left. All right, you know, fifty six thousand left. I think I want to transform into one of my. Specials. Each of them have a break HP limit, break damage limit. They're powerful. Plus, with you, I'll probably be able to get the uh, always crit ability. Uh, this one doesn't have a, a different garment that has that. You follow them up to deck like, their uh, dark knight, that way they can uh, cure themselves with the poison. Basha! Unfortunately, the uh, Smasher and Crusher doesn't get the immunity to physical stuff. But I can't bring them back with Riku. Alright, come on Riku, do some major damage with this. That wasn't major damage. And there goes the defense. Great. Luckily though, everyone's ready to... Uh, go full form. Just one of the shoulders. Alright. Taste it up, I guess. The HP thing doesn't affect, or isn't affected by MP. The Vajra might be. Ah, beautiful. It's gonna heal Riku more. I'm curious, do the other girls still have their uh, miracle effect? I 
they were on the field and it's expired, do they still have it? Does Vajra require MP? I don't think so. It's self destructed by the looks of it, jeez. Riku have the scan. I wonder when the other arms have it. I think it was Smasher R that had it. Look at that, I don't need MP for this. Thank you. Vaja. Let's go about Smasher, isn't it? No, Riku. I scan it before, I, before it goes away. Damn it! I can! Great! 24,000. Um, I might be able to pull it off if I immediately switch. Or immediately transform. Perfect. And you was at full health too, so she, she's gonna get a hell of a HP. Oh crap, she's gonna break HP limit. Forgot about that. Okay, um. Who's not? Well, fuck you too! Motherfucker. Stigma. Didn't do it. Great world should, though. I know I have break damage on your side. It didn't have damage. Hmm. I can check this HP quickly. Hold on, it's on Yuna, of course. Luckily she has an innate shell, an innate shell and shield, so. I might be able to get down to 10,000. Might. All depends if he uses Megaton press on me. Or on Yuna. Don't worry about that. I don't think Brit roll. Nope, doesn't take any of me. Thousand in there. Killed it! Yes! Go Yuna. Unfortunately, Riku doesn't get any uh, EXP here from it, so. He's not here. Who? Trema. Who's that? Trema is the founder of New Yevon. He kept all of the spheres from Spears' past to himself and then vanished without a trace. Who'd have thought he'd crawl down here? But that was a year ago. So he's probably already... Dead? Maybe he was from the start. They say he was able to control the most powerful of fiends. Which is why I really think we should go home now. Interesting. So I'm going to head back up and save. That was nuts. Um, I will see you in the next area. For 80? Actually, I think I'm going straight to 100 now. Not so sure. Either way, I'll see you on the next uh, landing. <laughs> it's getting hard.